here for, for a good majority of the models, and she works tirelessly alone. <laughs> she works tirelessly alone. She creates um, wigs. She custom makes wigs for survivors within the community for free. And she needs, like, we need to just, if you're giving, you're giving to her so that she can be able to do these wigs for women. Um, I, I thank you for allowing us. It, it, I just met her by chance, by mistake. And she started talking to me about what she did. And I said to Jennifer, Jennifer is um, one, of, one of our assistants here. Jennifer was like, I would say, Jennifer, God said this is her. This is the one, <laughs> this is the one for this year. But by that time, I think it was May, and I talked to her and she was like, yeah, 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 mm -hmm, yeah. Because, you know, she was thinking, oh yeah, this is all time. No, we're doing this. And we are giving you a portion of the proceeds. And we thank you for what you do for survivors. And we love you. Good evening. This was a beautiful show. Um, models, designers, camera folks, MCs, you all did a beautiful job. Um, before I do anything, I give all my honor to God because he is my rock and my foundation. Um, we are the hair kingdom, is, which is called a style for your soul. We don't just do hair. We're making sure that we style you from the inside out. Um, we just celebrated our 20th anniversary as the hair kingdom. Um, we've been doing the National Wig Bank for the American Cancer Society for now for 17 years. Um, and when I first started out, I probably did maybe 10 clients a year. Within the last year or so, I know we have served over 200 women wow. um, for cancer. And it, you know, it's exciting that we can say we did that. But it's also sad and, and devastating that these women are being diagnosed with cancer so rapid now. Um, and it's just, you know, we have to figure out a way because the, not only are we dealing with these women with these diagnoses, but these women have no money. Their insurance is, is denying them, and they cannot come into our, into our establishment and get a wig and expect to pay anything. We charge them nothing. Um, even if they come back through treatment, we charge them nothing. We want to bring them back to where they were when they first had the diagnosis. Um, I was diagnosed with colon cancer at the age of 31. So it's not just breast cancer. Um, and it's just not one minority over the other. We are all in this together, and we have to stand together. We have to fight the cause, and you know, just make it, make sure we all get tested. We have to get tested. I don't care how young you are, you have to get tested. I'm serving women now that are 16, 17. I'm serving men now that we're doing hair replacements and stuff for them because they're they're going through the same thing. So the bottom line is. Cancer has no name on it, and it's not gonna tell you where it's gonna hit you. But the bottom line is if you're tested early, you can survive it. We are survivors. God bless. I'm sorry, thank you. We are at the Hair Kingdom at 51 Humboldt Ave in Roxbury. We have the website, the Hair Kingdom, www.thehairkingdom.com. Um, we need wigs. We need we need scarves. We need um, we need time. We need people to just donate time and service. And and you can do money if you want. But if you can drop off a wig, we don't need the money. We just need the things that we can give to the women and the men that are coming through our unit. Um, you can do it, we have we work with American Hairline where they customize the pieces and everything else. I don't care if you give us a gift card to those particular donors or those particular people. Um, we're just, we just need to be there when the people come through our door. <laughs>